Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pulse of Wisdom. The uh, Steel Flyers All Sports Network Edition. If you like all four major sports and teams within those four major sports, you'll love Steel Flyers All Sports Network. And we're going to be talking about Jack Eichel. Yep. I mean, I'm not going to come on here and say, hey, this just in, because it's not. You know about it already, don't you? If you don't know, Eichel got traded. Maybe you were, I don't know. I don't know what you could have been doing to not hear that if you're a hockey fan. But he got traded to the Vegas Golden Knights, which was kind of like a, not really a secret. That looked like it was heading that direction. Calgary was in there. I don't know what the package looked like, but we're going to look at the trade. And we're going to look at how that affects each team. Um, I talked about this in my live stream yesterday that I really thought Vegas would be the one that would get, do it. And there was reasons for that. And I'm going to explain those reasons. I'm going to explain them. I'm going to explain those reasons in the, uh, in the vid, in the, what we're doing right now. The first, the NHL Pro Wisdom Show. Three to five Eastern weekdays. Check it out. That's where you get all this content. I predict those sort of things. I do predictions. We all do predictions. It's interactive. You can ask questions or make statements or make comments. I'm not there to tell you everything in the land because, well, what was that? I'm not there to tell you everything in the land. We're there to learn, talk about hockey. And there's a lot of frolic going on. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, boy. You'll love it. Okay, sub yourself up then so you can be part of that if you want to do that. And just sub anyways. Makes you feel good on your insides. Try it. Just try it. Sub. That's what happens when you feel good on your insides. You do that. And you do that. Okay, let's get at her. Oh, sure, my window capture is not going to work. Just wait a second. There we go. And there we go. You guys can see that all right? All right. Okay, so there it is. Vegas Golden Knights acquire Jack Eichel. This is on uh, pro ProHockeyRumors.com. You can check it out. It's good. I use it all the time. Pro Hockey Rumors is the best there. I said it. Okay. Uh, after months of speculation, negotiations, and public frustration, Jack Eichel saga in Buffalo has come to an end. And they make a trade. What was the trade? Alex Tuck, Peyton Krebs. A 2022 first round pick and a 2023 second round pick. Not a bad pickup at all, I would say. Uh, I really, I'm watching Peyton Krebs in Vegas. He looks really good. Uh, he looks like he's going to be a good one. He's played well from what I could tell, especially for his young age, uh, which we're going to look at. We're going to look at the Vegas lineup and how that affects them and all that sort of things like that. Now, the first round selection is top. 10 protected, which I found a little bit surprising. Uh, I suppose Vegas could crap the bed quite a bit, but um, it's so if it is a top 10 pick, it goes into the next year, and then the 2000, the second round pick becomes the Sabres 2023 third round selection that is included would also become a 2024 third rounder. There's been confusion whether it's a third or a second rounder they say second here and then a third here so i don't know which one it is but i would hope it's a second okay talking about each player and then we'll go look at alex tuck i just absolutely absolutely love alex tuck big dude in fact let's just bring him up right now let's look at this got the players that are going to be involved uh first we'll look at vegas no, we'll look at Buffalo. Where's Alex Tuck? Did I got him in here now? Because he's injured. Here we are. Alex Tuck. Look at this guy. Six foot four, 220. Skates like the wind. Has a good shot. Uh, has put up some really nice points in his career so far. 
uh, 33 points in 55 games. That's playing 52 points in 2018-19. That's playing lower down in the lineup. And uh, I always wonder why the heck he was playing so low in the lineup. Every time I saw him, he looked like a guy that could easily play up in the lineup and maybe pot 60, 70. Kind of like a JT Miller, but bigger. And a guy that big that can skate like that, even if he can't score, he's valuable. This guy, I love this pickup by Buffalo getting uh, Alex Tuck. Um, as far as Peyton Krebs, he has been sent down to the minors. I also wanted to mention that. Peyton Krebs has been sent down to the minors. They're issuing a statement saying that they really don't need to rush the kid. The, the kid. So they're going to put him down there, assess him, and see how he does uh, not having to be up. I, I, he looked really good. I was surprised he didn't have a single point, to tell you the honest truth. And he was a minus six. Um, I thought he looked he looked really good every time I saw him. But uh, if that is the case, you know, maybe he did struggle. It was just in the games that I saw that he looked good. Good for them to put him down in the AHL. They're in no hurry. But look at he had five assists in two games in the AHL with the Henderson Silver Knights. But he was a this is like getting another first round pick, but even better because he's already progressed. Not a huge guy. But he's got a lot of moves, he's quick, uh, shifty. Uh, his shot is okay. He's more of a passer, but he'll put up some points in this league, I think. 40 to 50 points, second-line winger, maybe more. He's only 20. His upside could even be more than that. Um, but that was the thing that they were holding on to. They didn't want to give up Krebs. They didn't want to give up Krebs. That's apparently, this is what we were hearing the Vegas didn't want to give up Krebs, didn't want to give up Krebs. The name I was hearing that was going to come back was Carlson. And uh, some, and this makes sense, total sense, because Alex Tuck, if we go back to him again, is injured and won't play for quite a while. He won't play for quite a while. He's going to be out for like three months. He had surgery in the off season, um, and that might have been part of the reason why he was available too. Because you know he had surgery, so how is he going to respond to that? Vegas needs to win now. Uh, now we'll get into that about what that means. Then why would they go get Eichel if they need to win now? Um, what what did he say? What did they say his injury was? His status. Let me look back here again. Krebs. Oh, no, not Krebs. Um, Tuck. Okay, yes. Six months. That was from the surgery. Apparently, I heard January. Probably come back January. Buffalo doesn't need to win right now, even though they're doing very well. They pretty much know that that probably won't hold up. Uh, it wasn't really part of the plan. So the fact that Alex Tuck will come later is not really a bother to them. Peyton Krebs can go down in the minors and, and become like the player that they want him to be. And they just move on. It's a good deal for them. So let's look at Vegas. Now, why would why would Vegas go and get a guy like Eichel when he can't play? Probably they're saying, I've heard with this, uh, like three months, really quick for this surgery that he's planning to do. Vegas has okayed the surgery. The Buffalo wouldn't okay. He's going to go. He's going to come back. So what do we got? November, December, January, February, just before the playoffs, right? January, maybe the end of February, something like that. He gets used to the team, all of that. But guess what? There's something else here that I don't know if anybody else has mentioned. They get, they don't have to pay that $10 million cap right now. And... Losing Tuck, although he was on uh, IR, it would have been cap space they would have had to pay. So they could actually, let's look at their cap space. Let's look what they have right now for cap space. Do, 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 do. Okay. Current cap space, $16 million. 
They can pay him, but they don't have to pay him. So what can they do? They can go out and get another center, you see. They can go out and get another player. And by the time Eichel comes back, it'll, it'll be later in the season. So a lot of the money would have been paid out in insurance. And they still have the cap space to fit both players in. Vegas is going to be going for it this year. Watch them at the deadline. They're going to add some more yet on top of it. Eichel comes back. I, I might even be later than February because this is an Olympic year, right? So Eichel comes back at the deadline. They can add more. And Stone and Pacioretty are back again. And this team is looking stacked. Imagine Eichel. Okay, so Carlson comes back into the lineup again, plays with Marcia So and Riley Smith. Apparently, they're riding Riley Smith. I don't know if he'll be, they'll let him go in the offseason or what they'll do. He's a free agent uh, at the end of the year. Uh, then Stone comes back, plays in between Eichel and Pacioretty. And we still have cap space to add more. You got more injuries here. Uh, that and and remember also that these players that are injured, like Stone and Pacioretty, all of them being injured is allowing them to add more and more cap space. Just more and more cap space. Just keep on adding and adding and adding. Now I don't know. Stone's a lower body, undisclosed. They're not telling you it's week to week. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the whole. I imagine this is all legit, but it's working out really well for them because they're going to get cap space. They're going to add more. The only thing that may be difficult about this. Uh, oh, he he was a scratch. No, he's out, and William Carlson's out six weeks as well. The only thing is going to be will this team mesh together as they add all these pieces together. But on paper, solid. Now, Vegas is in a position where they really are a contender. Uh, Vegas knew that they, after last year, I'm pretty sure they knew that they weren't going to be able to do it with this center group that they had. And uh, they do what Vegas does. They fix the problem. They just go for it. There's no screwing around. Is uh, giving Krebs. Tuck is a hard piece to let go of. I, I, those kind of wingers with that kind of speed and that size, like he's got breakaway speed. It's crazy. He gets breakaways all the time and he's tough, hard piece to lose. Um, and uh, Peyton Krebs could turn out to be, you know, really, really good. And then of course you got the first round picks. So, but you're getting, what are you getting? You're getting Jack Eichel who if, and it appears by what the doctors say, that this surgery is going to bring him back as good as ever. And we haven't really, how long have we not, have we not seen Eichel as good as ever? This injury was probably causing a problem for a little while. We did see uh, him put up some really good numbers before, earlier on, early on in his career. Remember, he's in Buffalo. The energy was brutal. Uh you know, we know all the. We could go over, uh, uh, go over and over again about. Uh, oh shoot! What am I looking up Vegas for? Or what am I looking up? I want to look up Vegas to see Eichel because he's not on Buffalo anymore, is he? No. So, well, let's look at. He should be on the injured reserve. Huh, how come they don't have Eichel in here now? I don't know where Eichel is. Anyways, he was he was over a point a game twice in his career is all I need to tell you. I don't know why they don't have Eichel in here. They should be on here. Come on, Cap Brantley. What are you doing? Oh, he's right there. <laughs> ah, there you are. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's look at his point production. When he, what, 19-year-old? 57 points in 61 games on a bad team. 64 points in 67 games on a bad team. 82 points in 77 games. 78 points. Almost a point a game player a lot. Over a point a game player in 2018-19. 
probably injury problems are happening, starting to creep up here, and he needs that shoulder fixed. The guy's got talent to be a 100-point player, especially if he played with Stone and... Uh, with uh, Stone and Pacioretty, that would be crazy. Look at those points. I just want to show you there. See, 82 points, 78 points, 64 points, all at a very young age. He's on a very bad team that has a very bad energy. I'm telling you, I think, I'm telling you, why am I telling you? Uh, I think he's going to be absolutely phenomenal, and he's going to make teams look bad for not really putting the money out there to do it. I'm hearing from the doctors that he's going to be okay. MMA guys have been able to go back and uh, and, play and, and fight no problems after this surgery, keep on going with their career. I think he's going to do it. Vegas is going to probably rock it. And I like the package Buffalo got, considering the circumstances they had. That's my full 42, boys and girls. Sum yourself up. Have a great day. Okay, bye.